Good morning, one and all. We do thank God for this awesome opportunity and privilege, and we do not esteem it lightly. Psalms 91, a Psalm of David from the T4T version, starting at verse 1, it reads in your hearing, Those who live under the protection of God Almighty will be able to rest safely under His care. I will declare to Yahweh, you protect me. You are like a fort in which I am safe. You are my God, the one in whom I trust. Yahweh will rescue you from all hidden traps and save you from deadly diseases. He will protect you like a bird protects its chicks under her wings. You will be safe in his care because he takes care of you. His faithfully doing what he has promised is like a shield that will protect you. You will not be afraid of things, hear this, that happen during the night that could terrorize you and cause you to be very afraid or of arrows that your enemies will shoot at you during the day. Oops, I just heard somebody saying them so-called friends too. Verse 6, you will not be afraid of plagues and widespread diseases that demons cause when they attack people at night or of other evil forces that kill people at noonday. Verse 7, even if a thousand fall dead alongside you, even if 10,000 people are dying all around you, you will not be harmed. Verse 8, look and see what God is doing. He is punishing wicked people. Verse 9, if you allow Yahweh to protect you, if you trust God Almighty to take care of you, nothing evil will happen to you. No plague will come near your house. Verse 11, because Yahweh will command his angels to protect you wherever you go. The word of God is already blessed. Dear hearts, what you're going through right now did not catch God unaware. You did not knock him off of his square. If it happened, it had to have his permission to happen. And trust me, if he allows it, it's for your good. You are not alone. Do you hear me what I'm saying? You are not alone. And without further ado, let us pray. Baruch Atah Migwe Yisrael, blessed are you, our God, the hope of Israel. And it is in the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, that we do submit this prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would please forgive us for our sins, transgressions, and trespasses. They are manifold and ever before us. Father, forgive us if we have caused pain or confusion out of our own ignorance. We repent and plead the precious, efficacious, and powerful blood of Jesus. Father, we give you glory. You have been good to us, and for that, we tell you thank you. You sent out your word, and it did not return unto you void. It accomplished whereunto it was sent. We thank you for life on today. We thank you for the articulation of speech, the activity of our limbs, and being enclosed in a right mind. The enemy declared that we couldn't take it and that we certainly wouldn't make it, but you declared our golden moments to roll on, and for that, we gotta say thank you. You brought us through this, and you brought us through that. You brought us all the way, and again, we give you thanks. Father, now we stand in agreement with those who have prayer requests that have been lifted up before you. Father God, we also stand in agreement with those unarticulated prayer requests that match up with your word, your will, and your way. Father, we are in a stance of receivership. We have high expectation that you would give your people supernatural strength and the power to fight the good fight of faith. You already provided the breastplate of righteousness, our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. We find safety behind the shield of faith. We are able to stand and not be shaken by the fiery darts of the wicked. We take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is your engrafted word. Yes, we are more than conquerors. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We thank you that we are qualified to share an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Yes, we have a portion in Jesus' inheritance. By faith and in the strong name of Jesus, we declare and decree that we, your people, are reconciled to you, that we are anointed by you. 
we decree and declare that we are firmly rooted, built up and established in the faith. We are stewards of great wealth. We will handle wisely the wealth of the wicked that has been laid up for the righteous. And we are the righteousness of Christ today. We avail ourselves of the healing power that emanates from the wound in Jesus' side. The blood still flows. And just like he said, we too can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. We decree and declare that there is a hedge of protection around our children, our youth, the Generation Z, the Millennials, the Baby Boomers, and our Golden Age Senior Citizens. We decree and declare that our youth will never be broke a day in their lives and that you, Father, will provide them with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare that we, your people, are saddled with multiple streams of income, million-dollar ideas, new inventions, and new strands of creativity and new strategies. It is your good pleasure to give us the keys to the kingdom. Thank you for giving us authority in new dimensions, realms, dispensations, Thank you for the power to expose Satan's tricks, his plots, plans, schemes, tactics, machination, and every subtle craftiness. We align ourselves with the word in Isaiah 54. No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that riseth in condemnation and judgment, it shall be condemned. This is our heritage and our righteousness, and it's found in our connection to our elder brother Jesus Christ, who is the bishop of our souls. Break up the fallow ground of our hearts. Your word stands forever. Let it take root and sprout and then blossom forth into acts of righteousness and a lifestyle of holiness. Uh, Satan, the blood is against you and the Lord rebukes you. Father, you said it's not by power and not by might, but by my spirit. So, Father, please move on the behalf of your people. In the name of Jesus, we come against cancer, diabetes, sickle cell anemia, COVID-19, monkeypox, HIV, AIDS, and every other transmitted disease, gout, arthritis, rheumatism, stigmatism, cataracts, high and low blood pressure, leukemia, multiple sclerosis, cirrhosis of the liver, lupus, Lou Gehrig's, Parkinson's, ALS, and diverticulosis we curse you in your roots dry up and wither away i have not forgotten about you childhood diseases chicken pox measles and shingles you are dismissed be halted in your progress organs and glands operate correctly spinal cords slip discs hip joints neck bone line up correctly swelling inflammation conjunctivitis tumors and fibroids be dissipated in the mighty name of jesus depression stress worryment dementia alzheimer sometimes loose your hole right now in the name of Jesus, I speak to every sickness, infirmity, and a malady whose name I did not call. We are the people of God, and we are every wit whole. Daddy, we ask that you would heal, save, deliver, and set the captive free. We ask for a Shekinah glory blessing on the sick and bereaved. Bless those who have suffered loss due into change in weather conditions. Those who may have fallen on tough times due to this pandemic, we pray for the shut-in, the incarcerated, those institutionalized, those addicted and depressed, quiet dead boys that have some considering suicide. Don't forget the brokenhearted, those kidnapped and forced into human trafficking, those who are being abused, those suffering with low self-esteem, those who feel like they have reached the end of their rope. Father God, teach them how to reach up, tie a new knot in that rope, and continue holding on. Now is not the time for giving up. Bless those who have become homeless homeless, those who are hopeless and helpless, those in convalescent homes and hospitals and hospices. Yes, Lord, even those who have lost their way, those who are wounded by an unkind word or decision, those who need to know, God, that you are God. Please minister to the many people around the world who have lost hope. 
They're hungry out of doors. Send them relief, God. Reclaim a backslider and reveal yourself to those who don't yet know you and are a pardon of their sins. Turn the hearts of our children back to their fathers. Um, God, we ask that you would tear down every bridge that leads us back into pain. Help us to release whatever is still in our peace, that thing that makes us cry in the midnight hour. Speak new life to that dead situation. Father God, send promotion, protect us physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, and emotionally. We don't claim to be perfect or accurate in every detail of life, but some of us have been lied on. We've been the subject of slander and gossip, had our names plastered on the billboards along the roadside of life. God, we ask that you would return double for our trouble. Bless everyone under the sound of my voice, whether it be in real time or on a restream delay. God, we ask now that you would get glory out of what we say and do. If you do that, we'll be careful to give your name the praise. If you don't, you'll still be God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah! And those in agreement will signify so by saying amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Wonderful Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at our God. Be encouraged. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.